we were challenged by the customer to fix this field. Um, this uh, is an 80 acre piece in a mile long by a half mile arrangement and it's uh, irrigated by a walking pivot. And uh, by all color and all definition this is the best field on the on the place but it is actually the worst yielding field on the place. So we needed to start somewhere so we gathered a topography map and then uh, we needed to kind of have an understanding of how things move and this is a tool we use for quick reconnaissance just to see if there's problems and what we're looking for is areas of light blue that are left all by themselves as the main sheet of blue goes away and what what these show you is areas where water likes to stand or or potentially could be a depression um, and there's a lot of them and the <clears throat> these these hurt the yield um, standing water kills a crop now this this field is tiled and all that subsurface work is done and it's done sufficiently however this is surface water and and it has a topography problem now as I look at this I I get the sense of you know I can connect all these depressions together and get them to flow out but when you look from the whole thing the whole view and, and step down there's just too many little left pockets of water you know it's, it's just too much. So I'm starting to question the technology we want to use here. Um, originally I would think of a dirt blower or a pan to make surface drains. But it, there's just too many, too many pockets, too much area. I mean, right there we're looking at uh, 24 acres. So, you know, that's 32% uh, of the field. And then when you start counting the rest of this stuff, you know, we're, we're approaching half the field as a problem. So if, if half the field's a problem, I might as well plan on covering the field. The other thing we look at is a method we came up with that shows where water accumulates. Simply looking at this map, the blues and greens, the blues are where water tends to want to 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 sit uh, the green is a potential area of, of water collection however the blue is the high intensity the reds are definitely where water cannot sit because it's the crest of a hill um, we had this area right in here was that seven foot tabletop seven foot of elevation change in the field and it's kind of flat but it does have some depressional issues within it we can then look at that data and we slide, we slide, we slide. What I'm going to do is stop at the very light blue area. So right, at, right about in here. Um, so 59%, 59.19% of this area is wet. So that screams for a different approach. Well, what could that different approach be? Well, in my mind, we want to go out with a dirt pan and we want to change this field. Well, that's completely counter to anything that's ever happened in, in, in Midwestern agriculture. Um, so we fed this through and we came up with a new map. This is what we say the topography should be when we're done. And let's look at the difference here. So we'll flood it up and we'll let it flow. You see the change? There's no lazy water. I mean it, it, it it all has a place to go and it has a uniform exit approach doesn't it now let's look at the original
Okay. Here's the original. See how it just is it, it just has that lazy water left look to it, you know? It's and let's look at the proposed. see the difference now let's look at what we have the depressions we have and the flow pass we have currently okay there's my surface drains that exist today and they're broken and very depressional so that that hole is almost a foot deep that holes almost a foot deep uh, the pinkish purplish is a tenth of a foot deep so these aren't terribly nasty there's there's one that's one over a foot deep um, they're not terribly nasty depressions however if we talk about filling a foot a foot and a half that's a lot of dirt um, but our concept here is to say okay we have a depression and that depression right there is 0.9 of 0.93 of a foot it wants to exit right there so once the water is above 0.9 it's going to run out right there so if we take that concept and say water is going to exit right there why wouldn't we just put grade on this so it drains out? A minimum grade, 0.08, but it drains out right there. And it drains into this one. Well, this one's only a tenth of a foot deep. So we put grade on it, and it wants to roll to here. Well, this one is 0.7 deep. So <clears throat> Again, we fill this little area and we get grade so it tips out right here. We just keep doing this all the way out of the field to there. Well, that was done with the computer. And that is this, this map. That is this map right here. Now, We've looked at this a couple times, but I want to just show you how that concept came into play, right? Now that's a very different concept than us going out there and filling all those holes level and trying to level this field up. It's sort of like saying it is what it is, but let's make the best of it. And the best of it is the least amount of dirt we can move to get a solution, right? You can't do this by hand, by, by a spreadsheet. Uh, it, it has to be done in, in a computer. So what I've shown here are the existing depressions and the existing flow paths over the new topography now this depression this depression this all gone now if I turn on the proposed flow I'm gonna leave the old depressions on top of the new topography with the new flow path and we'll move that to the top so now I'm, I'm illustrating exactly what I said the computer would do. This is now the surface drain for this quadrant of the field. And we get water exiting here in a nice manner. But you see how all the flow paths come to a central location, to a central branch, and the water goes away. So what do the depressions look like now? 
Well, with the new topography, there's what happened to the depressions. Now, this one's still showing. Uh, it's not there because the ditch, the, the, the proposed surface is actually falling outside of the ditch. Uh, it's, it's on top of the ditch. So the very low is actually over the ditch. So this depression does not exist. It's graded out and we just manually poke the dirt pan through the, through the uh, barrier at the end of the field to, to get that to drain. Um, here and here you, you see the the ditch is not exactly straight so it has a little bit of a notch to it so we we actually show what what truly happened now if we flood the field in this view I'm gonna go quickly here you can see that the water is following that trail out of the field. See? It's exactly what we hope to do. Now, I've introduced a concept of taking a dirt pan out to a field and driving the whole field and reforming the field. And if you're like every red blooded Midwestern farmer, that might make you a little nervous. Um, but really when you understand what truly happened here uh, I think it changes it changes the whole game because we can take the difference between the proposed topography and the existing and come up with a map that looks like this okay that's a very ugly map but that shows you the difference one subtracted from the other so let's look at the average elevation change the average elevation change is 0 0.071636 of a foot. So what is that? Let's do the math. So I have 12 inches in a foot, right? Times 0 0.071636. 0 0.85 so I did not change the elevation of this field by by even an inch that should give you pause and and the way that's done is is through a computer program that figures the minimum cut the minimum dirt movement for success and this this was a success this was done this field is this today and it started out as that so there's not a whole lot of difference now I want to show you the proposed water W water accumulation map now do you see the difference between the proposed and the original? These are all locked. All these all these accumulation points are locked by elevation. In the new accumulated wetness map, everything has a flow. And if you look at the flow accumulation, this is the final flow accumulations you see what what we're talking about is everything connects out to an outlet now remember this side of the field there's a lane here so what actually had to happen is a manual jump from here to here and that was that wasn't any big deal we just went out and, and connected those together and then everything flows out here and this whole side here's that area the high area of the field and there was some depressional spots on the high those are all been filled and graded not filled level but filled to drain and graded and they exit the field in a nice orderly manner lastly I'd like to show the cut fill map and I'm gonna roll around on this map 
and if you'll look down here in this corner of the screen where it says pixel va value no data presently that gives me my cut or my fill my greens are essentially neutrals and this is in tenths hundreds thousandths of a foot okay my units are feet so if you have a question as to how many inches that is just multiply that pixel value times 12 and that'll give you the inches that we're talking about so I had a fill in here of six tenths of a foot seven tenths of a foot I had a cut in that half to three quarters of a foot range here now I didn't have a choice but to do this now when you're using great control systems to replicate a computer surface you obviously have more control than just being able to drive this map um, you can see I, I alluded to that we did a little bit of manual touch up right here um, you can see that in this map we just touched up and came through here to get that to drain out um, but in here you know I got to three quarters of a foot of a cut and we got some nasty dirt starting to show up that subsoil stuff that nobody likes to see all all we had to do was page down on the plan to go below grade and we mined out that nasty stuff and we mixed it in down here and then we grabbed some of this good stuff over here that we had stockpiled because we hadn't leveled this yet and we paged up to get back to plan and we filled in where the subsoil was showing and we had overcut it we filled it back with good topsoil now the fact that we took that nasty stuff down here and blended it in we actually made a better soil type here because this was very dark sticky mucky stuff and adding a little bit of clay and sand to this mixture made it a better soil type also I wanted to give a little better view of what we were talking about in terms of, of this field. So this is a walking pivot that stops right here and it, it spans this stretch right here. Now you can see the next candidate just from this just from this aerial photo, the next candidate field is this one. Now there's a lane that runs this full length right here. And it's high. There is a ditch that runs parallel to the lane here and then a stub ditch that runs here uh, this is a this is a big county ditch that runs this edge there's a ditch where well, you can see the notch there's a ditch right there and that depression that we we saw was an artifact left over you see that it centers on that ditch now we stop short because we exited the water right here we didn't need to do the rest of this field because it was it it wasn't an issue so we shed the water out into this stub ditch right here that then feeds into this ditch so this this farm has a luxury of being ditched uh, this is another ditch right here uh, this is another big large ditch this is another ditch so outlets are plentiful um, however this is a very depressional field and again if we jump over to this this side of uh, of the farm we see the same thing and we can fix that because we have plenty of outlets I mean you you can see from the picture that potentially I could outlet right there right the lowest spots are here and here and here and and here